All right, stuff is starting to happen. Uh, Kyle, Luke, McKeon and I just were on the south end of the lake drilling out some stuff using cartography to look at some basin areas and we got a call that our buddies up north were on a mega load and I'd say that right there is a mega load. We got Hummerbird Mega Live down the hole right now. We're looking out 50 feet laterally all the way around us and we can see here roughly between 20 to 40 feet that's a large school of fish and if I follow my finger over here we see that those fish are anywhere between 14 to 18 feet. So the name of the game here is oftentimes we'll have just one guy lock up on live imaging and I have an arrow right on top of this unit. So as I spin this around, I look at that screen and we can call distance and direction. Pretty much straight out there right now, 30 foot, there's a bunch of fish and those guys are catching. Once we stop catching, what we do is just continue to rotate Mega live around, look at that, we got fish there too. So what we're seeing is there's a large amount of water around us where there's a lot of fish. But as I keep spinning that, look at no fish, no fish, no fish, no fish. And you can make a full 360 degree rotation from one hole and at a 50 foot range, I'm covering 100 feet from one single hole. That's extreme efficiency on ice. And there we go. There's some fish coming into frame right there, 40 feet out. Let's keep spinning. There's a couple of fish there. Ooh, we got, we got a school of fish. We got fish there. Two o'clock noon is the biggest school. Look at that, that is a mega load. Hey Ben, hop in this hole right here, bud. There's two holes and there's a mega school out uh, 20 to 30 feet. And here's the other thing, guys, when we're able to have that Y axis, and I love 360, this would work great here, but with live right now, I'm able to see how far fish are off the of bottom. And when you have high riders like that, those are often pretty active fish that are feeding. So from 10 foot all the way down to the bottom here. But right now, those guys are in a pretty good zone. You can see Kyle there. Look at Kyle hooked up. Sweet. Big crop. I'm kind of functioning as the forward observer, the spotter today, kind of like a hunting scenario. If you're out in the mountains and you had a person with the, the binoculars and then you have another person, you know, on the rifle or whatever, that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing it with, with live imaging on ice. This is Humminbird Mega Live. There's an arrow on the top of this shaft here and I have a Mega Live transducer below. And right now I'm looking out that way, but you'll see that all the guys are right here for a very good reason. Let's go ahead and spin this arrow. So the transducers looking toward them and let's see what develops on that screen. That, look at that right there. Kyle just caught a real nice crappie and we can see clearly that there's several fish out 30 feet. So how this technology works is here's my Y axis. That's giving me depth. And then across the top, that's giving me distance out. So I can bring my finger over and I can hit 30 and I can see that's the leading edge of the school and then that school of fish extends out to 40 feet and then bring my finger over here and say, hey, they're 16 feet down. When we stop catching, that's when we'll make, we'll make moves with live imaging. We'll reacquire the school and then the anglers will reposition based on what we're seeing. Big bluegill, look at that. This is a sweet school of fish. We got a mix of crappie, bluegill, and walleye. Classic multi-species deal and we're having a lot of fun. So we just made a mini move. I pulled out of that hole. I was scanning over here and these guys weren't, weren't on fish anymore. And I hadn't seen any fish to the north of us. So I made a decision to just get on the opposite side of them. And then look at that school just shifted a little bit to what is our south. And as I spin this live transducer, I'm just seeing that there's a lot of life on screen. Look at that, Luke's, Luke's hooked up, so doesn't lie. That's calling the shot, you know? I'm not fishing right now, I could be fishing, but it's pretty cool just with a group of people like this to stay on the fish. Yeah, Kyle, I'd say, I'd say that far hole behind Luke. Seems like there's quite a few fish at the end of my range. Definitely on the far further extent of my current range from 30 to 50 feet right now. So those guys repositioned in a pretty good, pretty good area. We're gonna run into them. So like Ryan said, we made a little, little adjustment here. Fish kind of dissipated. We had good half an hour action. Here's another one. There we go. Hooked up again. This one's smaller. Definitely smaller. 
That's a baby. But we had that school of fish that we were on for quite some time. It kind of started to disappear and moved to another hole, probably, what, now 60 yards or so. Got into this new area and we were able to direct us in the right direction and first drop into this hole. I, I mean, if you look here on the screen too, we're in almost 19 feet. This whole band here is pure fish. And I'm running a zoom over here on the right side of my 2D sonar. I got four times zoom focused on the, the bottom of the water column. Really what that allows me to do, get a little more detailed look at each individual mark in the school. And a lot of times after I catch one, we get down three feet above these fish and they just come screaming up. You can see these. This is a great thing about 2D sonar too. You can actually see the history. You can see those fish started to move up and kind of come up to the bait. A couple different ways we've been catching them. Either they'll come screaming up to you or if there's a big school kind of four feet from the bottom, if they're not coming up and grabbing it, we'll actually drop right into that school and then slowly rise up. And a lot of times that gets them fired up and they'll come up and hammer it. So the school seem to disappear now. We'll see what Ryan's over here, what he's looking at and, um, and see where they move to. There we go, hooked up. Oh, look at that band of fish. <laughs> There's quite a few down there. This one feels okay. Oh, there we go, nice fighting. Decent crappie. They lost that school of big ones. We we're catching a bunch of these. That's a good one. And we started to get a bunch of smaller fish relocated a little bit, got back on the better quality fish. Decent one. Get him back, get back down there. It disappeared, but we've got a few other guys around here and got the live set up and see if we can track them down again. 